bit. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Factorio. So, I've been just slowly doubling my copper production, sadly, here. Uh, usually I like a big, long, you know, line, but because of our limited space right now, because of this copper here, it's caused a bit of a problem. I've also redone the copper line here. Um, I put it all, you know, back to back, basically, trying to squeeze out as much copper as possible, which in the end has given us a nice flow of copper of course but at the same time now we can't still keep up really um, you can see here that overall this is all of it's being eaten up by the circuit so I'm gonna try to speed up the circuits now eventually the circuits themselves might not be eaten as much but uh, for now I guess we'll work on uh, increasing that anyways because that's the part that we enjoy about Factorio is getting up these higher numbers you can actually see 1.1 K copper cables a minute actually copper is now higher than iron it will be a lot higher higher too if I could speed it up so uh, it just shows you over time how crazy it is when the uh, tables have turned let's get some basic materials here as well I'm gonna need some iron gears and more inserters so this will allow me to make some red inserters probably a little too many there but whatever and uh, then uh, let's grab another stack of just normal inserters here. There we go. So uh, where are we going to put these guys? Oh yeah. So these guys, oh how have I been doing these? Oh yeah, they, they grab from the long arm. So this will work out well. It'll, it'll be the same setup basically as over there. Except they get to share a copper, or a coal belt, sorry. And I have to replace that one later. Just didn't feel like going and grabbing some bricks for it. There you go. And then, of course, we're going to need more belts. Ah, one thing I didn't grab when we were over here, some more belts. Here they are. And these will go right down here. And then same over here, right down here. Probably just curve it in here somewhere. And then uh, probably just right here and then we'll just do a little thing here. Though we'll probably upgrade this all to actual orange belts to be honest, uh, to speed everything up. So. In the end, actually, we should probably consider... Did I run out of... Yeah, I ran out of gears now. Probably actually can consider uh, upping those just so we can make a bunch of orange belts now. There we go. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, oh yeah, we gotta get some inserters on here. So these will course take the materials off from the smelters and same over on this side nice and our telephone power lines whatever you want to call them And then we gotta feed another layer of coal over here, which shouldn't be too bad because we have one right here. So there you go. Oh, that was close. Ta da! So I'll deal with the coal. Didn't want to really use more coal right now, but. Because of our limited space, I don't want to put the electric ones. Once I do those, I feel like they deserve their you know proper setup. So I'm just more trying to use up the resources we have in the area, and then we'll look into that. Uh, okay, so that will work there. And then the last thing we just need to do is we need just to split this line over here, and this should be actually decently easy. So we're just gonna go from here all the way over here, and there you go. And there she is. And this should 
let's start this new setup here. I probably screwed up something, but we'll see. There you go. Beautiful. And the throughput should be actually really decent when we do this. So, so what were we at? We were like 670 something. Now we're at 700, 800. So you can see it's skyrocketing now for the uh, copper. Now this will actually slow it down. You can see how the belt is pretty solid. Actually, looks like it's actually finally made it all the way there. So as much as we said we we're going to try to make it there, it uh, it kind of fixed itself over time. So that's good. It's not a big deal. I knew it was going to happen anyways. But at least when we do use a lot of it, our throughput is decently. Now you can see we have a bit of a problem here. So we could always fix that up. Uh, we'll go like this. So how did we do that? I think we have this one going like this like this and then this one going like this there you go and that'll fix that side give us a bit of a balance there you go so as much as we were <laughs> fixing that we uh, it ended up playing against us a bit but uh, it's not a big deal um, no problem at all. Interesting. Are these filling up now? Oh yeah, they are. There's a stalling happening here. What's stalling? Iron! My friends, iron is now becoming a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, look at iron. It's not even coming down right now. What the hell? Iron has almost come to a standstill. It looks like we're going to have to uh, buff up iron now, same way we did with the copper. Oh yeah, this is embarrassing. I, I apologize that I had to show this. Oh, don't look. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Okay, so I guess we'll just do what we just did with copper and basically take it all down. We need more than this for iron though, so this is why trains are going to be important here soon. But we'll suck out what we can for the remaining. This might cause some power issues in the base, but we'll see. We're above. Maybe not, I don't know. Does it actually go anywhere? No, it just sits there. Now that we don't have a power thing up there, some of this stuff just doesn't make sense sometimes. There you go. 27.8. I feel like things cooled off a wee bit, I don't know why. I don't think it really has, but I don't know. The way It could be getting overcast outside though. If the roof isn't getting owned by uh, the sun, it could probably help cool down my house. There you go. good they did all those improvements with uh, picking up items now. Would have been annoying to do all this right now. That's all thing in the past now, so that's nice. It's like, does it even go anywhere? Like, what the heck? Oh, gosh. There you go. What about this one? This is not connected. This means everything up there is dead, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I guess we'll do this again. Um, let's see here.
We're going to try to suck up as much as possible, and we're going to actually use uh, a neat little technique somebody shared, or suggested, I should say, uh, on uh, Twitch. And the idea is basically uh, you can use underground belts. Because normally this wouldn't work, right? Because you can get the poles in there. But if you use underground belts every so often, uh, it'll fix that up for you. And I thought that was beyond awesome. So, for example, you could say this can go from here to, you know, here. Uh, and then you can put your underground belt here. Now, these ones, you actually don't need them because these outsides will be completely uh, done fine. So, there's no need for that. But the ones in the middle will end up having the need. There we go. We'll just do this. I won't power them this time. That way, I don't have a bunch of ore in my hand. You know what? Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. Even though it's annoying, you know, it, it does help get you an idea of exactly what you're doing. So... There you go, and splitters, we're running out of them again, there you go. Another splitter. I don't know if we'll have to update some of these lines with oranges later or whatever, because this kind of looks like what I was doing before. Uh, oh, didn't go all the way to the top over here. There you go, and uh, I guess now we just power it up. So there you go. So now you look around and you think, okay, I pretty much did all the the powering I can from the inside or outside and then you look okay so where can I fix up the power in here so you can see this is a bit of a problem so we could say okay let's go from here and we'll break this all the way down to this one and then we can put a power line right in here and you do the same down here from here to here oh no I was hoping that reached that one. I probably was off a bit when I should have been that off, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter, doesn't it? I say it doesn't matter, but I actually think it would matter. Uh, so, we're going to go from here to here. And then we'll put this in here. There we go. It did matter quite a bit. Because you can't double to them. And then from here to there. Should fix it. There you go. And then we'll do the same here. Sadly, this one will have to be done too. Guess I could use the other power lines. Yeah! Troll, you're exactly right. I was just about to say that. I, I could have used the better power lines, but oh well. I was like, you know, there's a better way for this. Because <laughs> they do have better range, I know that for sure. Um, There you go. This will be good because this will speed this up a bit more. Oh, except unless if you got a slowdown right here. There we go. Woohoo! There's our iron. Getting back to the old glorious days. Yeah, I really should. I normally do, but I don't know. I've been addicted to them lately. <laughs> I got a thing for them. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's just like singing almost.
Yeah, that's exactly the thing. It's I don't even care if they could s don't spread further, but the the influence is where they're at really. That uh, extra spread would have solved the uh, the problem we had there, because they're seven by seven, right? These are five by five. Yeah, five by five, seven by seven, and these ones just suck. But the uh, wire reach, of course, is really awesome. I should have put substations in it. <laughs> Now, copper might be used a wee bit more now that uh, iron's back just because um, whatever the iron was all used for could be uh, caught up with. You know, I suck at using substations. I am using them for this solar field, but I actually never normally use substations. I'm one of those people who just never use it, and I should because they make really nice, clean designs, but I'm not a person who really designs well. So... Unless somebody says, hey, do this for this, I end up, like, just doing whatever, really, so. Okay, let's see here. Uh-oh, I got two fo emails. What the heck? Dodge form? I don't even own a Dodge anything. Why would I be getting... What is this? Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe from all. Don't even know what the hell that is. Breaking news. And the person didn't even send the message. Oh, Publishers Clearinghouse awards your email a lump sum pay payout. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? That was so clever. I'm going to click this report spam button. There we go. Bye bye. So, uh, yeah, we're set. Probably shouldn't be checking my email when I'm doing a recording, but whatever. Now you guys know my reactions to the emails. Uh, so, what are we up to over here? So, iron is still kind of coming slow, but uh, you can only do so much now, right? Because of our throughput. This is the maximum throughput we can pretty much offer. Wow, these actually have something in here? What the hell? Well, I, I could change that. I mean, maybe we do have more throughput options then. Let's do them like this instead, then. There we go. <laughs> the Nigerian prince, yeah. It's amazing that like these companies and they're not companies, but these scam artists make so much money doing this and get away with it. I mean, the reason we keep getting the same damn emails over and over because it actually legitimately works for somebody. Hey, thanks for the follow, Napalm, Napalm, Napalm Sheep, and thanks, uh, Gods, for the follow as well, or eight, how do you say, Gates, Gades, 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 Gades. There you go, so we got the throughput slightly higher there. Oh, look at almost making it to the end. 
Almost getting there. Almost. Oh, 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 oh! So close. Could it happen? Could it happen? No, probably not. But we could always do this and be like, ah, we did it. There you go, we did it. Uh, so, let's check our statistics here. This iron is 1.1k a minute right now. Holy crap. Remember when our copper used to be up there? Damn. 1.2. Oh god, the iron's really trying hard. And yeah, it's still eating it like candy. What the hell? That's steel, I guess. We're it's trying to refill it up on the steel there. And then uh, a lot of it's being used over here. But these should be uh, backing up soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these will start slowly backing up finally, and that'll fix this a bit over here. Because at least one side of this iron is always used for that. And then the rest is pretty much steel right now. Which I guess solar panels are a big contributor of that. But they're important. I mean, we want it for our future, so. <laughs> ah, kids. Okay, let's see here. Um, so yeah, trains are definitely going to be something that I need to work on very, very soon. I'm looking forward to trains, but the initial station setup is uh, its sometimes a pain in my butt, to be honest. I'll probably be doing a lot of it off camera uh, for YouTube, because uh, I just don't want to make you guys suffer for two hours of me trying to figure out exactly how to build my stations again. But uh, I'll be using lots of signals and uh, rail, basically, and working on it. And then somewhere up here, uh, I will have the trains coming in. And then uh, from there, we'll have them deposit their goodies. And then we'll go from there. So it won't be too bad. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting. My concern is uh, then getting out here and starting to mine all this. But now that we have lasers, it shouldn't be so bad. What's up, Benner? No, oh, Benner says something now. Why didn't he say something like five, six hours ago when I got up early? I was like, oh, I'm going to play Elite Dangerous with Benner. And he never answered me. So I was like, oh, I guess Benner wasn't interested in playing Elite Dangerous. What the heck? I got another friggin' invite. Anti-consumer practice report. What the? Ignore? I guess I'll just un uninstall Elite Dangerous now. <laughs> I don't actually play though with other people. You can't Elite Dangerous it can't be played with other people. That's the problem with the game. You need to wait till they have the um, multi crew one, then it'll be fun. But. Hmm. Let's see. So, trains. I'm going to figure out where I want to put my trains. There's copper here. I guess I want to put my trains down here. But, like... This is the question for you guys. You wouldn't train this. If this is my train station here, I wouldn't train the copper and the iron from here. So I should just bolt this down, honestly. Ah, so there's so much work yet to be done. Because I'm going to... I want to clear this out for trains. 
my day will never end. Yeah, those are huge. I would just belt those. I wouldn't end up training those down. So I guess trains won't be right away, I guess. The only downside is we're going to run low on coal. Coal is going to be something that we're running out quite a bit of. But we do have the patch here. There is a patch here. But even that, you probably would end up belting it so close. That's the downside when you play... Um, play with vanilla is that there's things are so close that you know it's like and eh, do you belt it or do you train it and at that distance like eh, you probably would just belt it well the thing is if I build a train here it's gonna be like it's gonna go up all the way up here so these are actually in the way at this point Unless if I build my train system all the way down here, but then this suffocates over here. I want to give space to my my system, right? Because I'm going to probably end up having... Uh, I'm going to probably end up moving the furnaces more up here. So the furnaces are going to start somewhere up here and work their ways way down. And then they can spread left and right over time when I need multiple furnace banks. Because you remember, of course, electric furnaces are going to use a lot more space as well. So I probably have the furnaces start somewhere up here, work their way here. A little extra room here to expand and build up on my base. And then the train system itself will be probably from here to here. Because the way I do my train system is I have a dedicated line for iron where I can expand to the right or left or whatever and have multiple stations for iron, then a multiple for copper, a multiple one for coal, multiple ones for oil, things like that. So it'll expand really high and quite a lot. So these will definitely be in the way. Not only that, once this starts getting low, which is it's getting that point where I'm going to probably have to fill up, say, some of that iron in here, right? Uh, when that starts happening, uh, I'll probably want to hook up uh, a splitter up here or a splitter down here probably so I can work on that. Did these already empty out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were on the edges, but you can see already we've already lost a few uh, miners there. How's the copper ones doing? Yeah, I do dedicated rails for sure. I don't do loops either. I do double-headed trains and everything, so... But yeah, overall, this looks pretty good. I think right now is just trying to get that throughput a bit more and work on just manufacturing my stuff. Guess doing some more research wouldn't hurt. Uh, let's see here. I guess uh, piercing rounds for shotgun shells would help in the future. Probably won't use that right away though. It'd be more for using the combat armor though. Choices. So many choices. Laser damage. You know what? That's a good one. Actually, uh, is it a good one? I don't know if I have enough uh, alien stuff on me. Uh, I build, no, well, there's buffers technically slightly on the loading and unloading, but that's it. Oh, yeah, I have more than enough. Uh, but I don't build, like, a massive array of buffers. Okay, so, um, I'll give you a, sc oh, maybe you didn't see when I was doing it. Did I just close paint? No, 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 no. Oh, there you go. I guess it screwed up when I pasted this in here. I don't really have a good uh, picture of what I normally do. It's dark, it's scary, it's not pretty. This is what I do. And then I can expand to the right so I can add another train, another train, another train. So I can have, you know, like five trains doing just copper and five, etc., etc. And it just adds up over and over. 
But with the new system, I won't have to worry too much because before, sure, I had to worry about, you know, having five copper trains kind of getting in and out because I would have them, you know, deploy every, you know, 30 seconds or minute or whatever. But now I can do wait to full, wait till empty, things like that. Though at the stations themselves, if I say wait till empty, then of course you might need some buffers there, but it should be pretty good overall, so... But you can see it, it takes a lot of footprint, so that's the reason why those war patches will be in the way. Okay, so I think for this episode, we are done. And uh, I'll just continue, you know, doing some research, which I didn't even decide to pick yet. And, uh, oh yeah, we're going to do laser damage upgrade, because that'll be important. And then uh, we'll continue next time, so thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.